the movement. Before starting, the north of the game will be chosen. These cards will remind us where it is located. The north is immovable. A ship can move as many spaces as indicated by its card, plus the improvement it has. In this case, it is 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. A ship can move to one of the three four spaces without any penalty, as indicated on its card, but if it were to make an unusual move to one of the three rear spaces, it will suffer a penalty, in this case, minus two, to the two rear spaces and minus three to the space. Keep in mind that the card indicates the direction of the ship. It has nothing to do with the board or the position where it is located. The ship, for example, if it wanted to move backwards, it will suffer minus three a penalty to the movement. In this case, 7 minus 3 is 4 of movement. When we go backwards, we will turn the ship and spend its movement. 4 minus 1, 3, 2, 1, and 0. It should be noticed that we can only go to one of the backspaces. At the beginning of our movement, once we have started to move, we can no longer make the action of moving backwards. At the beginning of the game, we will review a wind card. This card will give us a bonus or penalty depending on the direction in which we start to move. For example, we will advance a speaker, we have a plus 2, our total movement equals 9. If we advance backwards, we have a minus 2, minus 2, minus 3 is minus 5, to 7, we have 2 left. If we review another card, this will change as different events occur. They do not give modifier to move backwards. Plus 2, minus 3 equals minus 1. Turning will only cost us on one movement. Every time we move, for example, downwards, we will face the ship as we have done before and once we decide to stop, it will stay in charge in the direction in which we have arrived. Leaving a mooring, as is the case, will allow us to face the ship in any direction. This means that we don't have to apply the charge penalty. During the game, we can find floating elements. These elements can be collected in exchange for a movement point. It is the time taken to do the action, for example, 1, 2, 3, and 4. We collect our merchandise, in this case, the bar will give us a benefit. That benefit happens in our ship, that can give occasion to increase the draft, and we keep the barrel for the later use. And yes, we can continue the movement, 5, 6, 7, picking up a cargo again. Picking up cargo does not exhaust our turn. In the event that a commodity or items are in a barrel, this is simply a timer. When we pick up the goods, one, two, three, the goods will go to our reserve, while the barrel is discarded. The sandbanks represented on the map limit our passage. To know if we can pass or not, we will have to look at the draft board on the player board. If the draft is equal to the indicated the ship will be able to pass without problems, but if the trap is less than the one shown, the ship cannot pass. The same happens if we acquire goods, for example, if we add the amount needed to advance the indicator, the ship will no longer be able to pass through this area, it could not even be here. In the unlikely event that we get trapped on a sandbank, if we are not being attacked, we can automatically destroy ourselves. Entering a space defended by the fortress will cause us to be attacked if we get along badly with the country. For each move we make in this space, we will suffer from the indicated attack. It is allowed to pass over another ship, as this simply represents a location in a vast sea. However, if we pass over an enemy, it will attack with its cannon. If we pass over another ship, this will simply ignore us, and if we pass over another player, the player we have passed over we will decide whether to attack us or leave us alone. And so far, the movement. I hope you liked it.